Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for March 19th through the 25th. This is for the sign of Gemini. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and I'm going to reveal it at the end. Now this is intended to be a love reading, okay? So it is what it is, right? Whatever comes up, comes up. It's intended to be a love reading, but you know, this is for Gemini. What does Gemini have for love? Gemini love. We will reveal the card at the end. For Gemini. What do you have for Gemini in love? So this is represented by the sign of Gemini, and right now there's a lack of awareness, and I'm just telling you, I mean, that's what this means. Upright, it's awareness, it's the ability to take action, it's the, the willingness to let go of something, the willingness to use your powers, but reversed, you're not using them, okay? It's like you may be feeling like there's some kind of uh, trickery here. Now, this doesn't have to be you, this could be somebody else. Somebody could be trick. you could be tricking yourself in some way, you know, I don't know. We're going to get a lot more cards, so. But this or this could be somebody that is tricking you or trying to trick you, and you may not be seeing it. Okay, so somebody's reluctant to see a new, appro new approach. They're blocking something. Somebody may be blocking their own awareness. And they're reluctant to see the new approach and accept reality. Son of a bitch. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's something is going on here. But this is represented by Gemini too. But somebody is making a conscious change. Somebody is taking the practical approach and making a conscious change. They want to work on something. Somebody's making some compromises. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to see a new approach. And they're blocking out the truth. They don't want to see the reality. Could be you, could be them, right? Could be either one. Somebody's making a conscious change, though, with this Ten of Wands. They are letting go of something. They're, they're changing. Somebody has decided to do the practical thing, the stable thing, the right thing. There's no more second chances here with the judgment reversed. It's like... And this, again, is lack of awareness. Lack of awareness, lack of awareness. These are both lack of awareness. Somebody does not want to accept the truth. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody does not want to accept the truth. In many other decks, the judgment card is labeled as truth. Okay? Somebody is having a lot of self-doubt. Okay? And they're refusing to see a new approach in regards to perhaps a new partner or a partnership. Okay, that right here they're being called to make a decision. There's a decision that needs to be made. There's an unexpected choice that needs to be made in love. It could be between two people. Here we have the moon reverse. This is confusion, fear, and reality. Somebody has to make a realistic decision here. And there's a lot of confusion and fear regarding this decision because they may have to make some compromises and work together. You know, they're going to have to cooperate in some way. But, you know, maybe you, maybe the person you're dealing with. It appears that somebody here, and I think it's you, is making a conscious change. Because where whatever's been going on, there's been some insecurities. There's been a lot of discouragement here and a lack of faith, a lack of hope, a lack of inspiration. So some, you're dealing with somebody that is not inspirational, whether it's you or the other person. There's no inspiration here. Oh, my God. 
Now, I think that many of you, you know, this is this is actually, I mean, it is pretty good. I mean, it may not sound good, but it is. All right? Because we have the Two of Cups and the Lover's card. This is a new partnership. Okay, it is. Whether it's at work or in love. I think you have a choice between two people as well. I just want to let you know. I feel like there, there could be some sort of reconciliation or there could be a new love. Or This is usually an unexpected choice in love where you think one partner is the one, but it's actually somebody else. So just keep that in consideration. And this is refusing to see a new approach. You could have somebody else, I'm just saying. You know, I think that there's this there's lack of communication here in one direction. There's lack of, somebody is blocking something. There's lack of awareness. I mean, there is. Somebody is refusing to see the truth of a situation, whether it's you or somebody else, okay? This is part of the reading, and that is the, there. somebody is refusing to accept the truth. But... But then, then on the other hand, somebody is making a conscious change. And there is duality here, right? There, you are the change. Gemini is the change. So I think that you guys have some changes going on. You are making some conscious changes. And I think it's because you're dealing with somebody who is unrealistic. And, you know, whether it's you or the other person, somebody is unrealistic here. Or one, there's one path that is unrealistic, unrealistic. There's one situation that just brings trouble, okay? And it's like, you have to make a decision. Do you stay in the trouble, on the troublesome path or do you go down the new path? I mean, that there is a decision that needs to be made. So I feel like you, you definitely have a choice of two. I think that you have a choice of two people, two directions. You know, and you do you stay in the tr on the troublesome path and pretend you don't see the truth, or do you go down the new path where you know where are you being guided to go? And this could be at work. This could be in regards to work. It could be a new work partnership, but it could be you wanting to work hard on something with somebody. You know, we could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's what it looks like to me. You do have Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius as well. But I feel like you do have a new beginning here. And I think you have a, you have a new partnership on the horizon. And you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Do you stay stuck in the past or do you move forward? I mean, I think that's what the choice is here. I think that you guys are being offered a new beginning that leads to something solid. And I think it's with the new person. Okay, I do. I think it's with the new person because generally the lover's card for me is new. Okay, so I think you have the opportunity to have something solid with somebody that really wants to work with you and has really, really good intentions. Okay. Just got to get this zoomed in. And... Oh my goodness. I got a cat that wants to come in. My apologies. It's like really cold out. And uh, she was freezing. And I don't want to have to hurry through the reading to, uh, to let her in. So I figured I'd just stop. That way I don't have to hurry. Anyhow, there is a new opportunity. Okay, there's a new gift. You are, very, you are receiving something new that is very solid. And I think that you have an offer either from somebody or you are offering somebody. But I think this offer is coming to you from somebody that is has really, really good intentions. This person is a hard worker. Um, they're stable and secure. They're compassionate. They're kind. They're loving. And they're genuine. So I, I really feel like you have a new love offer with somebody that really has good intentions and it can lead to something stable and secure you are really let go of the fears let go of the fears let go of the you know if don't bring the past with you shed the past do not bring it with you into this relationship because it will only hurt you You know, I feel the hermit, that is the hermit, that you guys have really taken some time to go within and focus. And if you have it, this card is saying to do so. 
become aware, become aware. Now we have awareness. We have awareness, lack of awareness, and with the judgment card reverse, lack of awareness. You are being called to become aware of what you want in the future. The past is the past. Let it go. Don't bring it with you. Don't bring your past hurts, you know, however you were treated or taken advantage of with you. Okay, don't. Only focus on the future. Okay? Um, because you will end up very dissatisfied in life if you don't invest in the future. You'll lose on love. Okay? Do you want to lose on a loving, roman romantic uh, or relationship? Because this is a loss. Okay? It's a loss of romance. There's no offers coming in if you are not aware of your own baggage. You know, you're whatever. You know, it is what it is. I think you have an offer from somebody that is very genuine and you could lose the opportunity if you bring the past with you you don't need to play tug of war you don't need to go through these power struggles you don't need to fight with yourself it's time to be practical it's time to Take the responsible approach and allow yourself to, this right here, she's very practical, she's very responsible, she's very kind, she's very motherly. She's wise. She's loyal. Stable. Secure. It's time to take the stable, secure approach. And I saw this card many times when I was shuffling too. This is an energy you must be being called. Maybe you need to take care of yourself for once. Because she's a mother. She's the earth mother. Maybe this is what this is. Is You need to put yourself first. Do what's right for you. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Like she would do. You have to take care of you. You have to remove some obstacles. This is removing some obstacles. You're still holding on to something in the past and it's not practical. And you're, to you're being called to be practical here. That's why she came up. For you to be practical. You need to do what's right for you. Remove these obstacles from your life. That you have been burying. Because, you know, you this is the magician reverse. That's trickery. That's cunning. That's lies. That's lack of awareness. That's lack of action. You know, it's deceptive. You're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving yourself by bringing the past with you. Seriously. This is, is removing obstacles. And one of the obstacles is, is bringing your past hurts with you into this new relationship. You know, that feels like you may, you, you may have been dealing with somebody who was only out to harm you. You know, and I feel like you may feel like the next person's going to harm you too. I've only been used all my life. Nobody's really ever loved me, so this nobody could possibly love me. So I think that you guys lack the awareness that you you are lovable. You absolutely are lovable. I think that you have been criticized and judged wrongly in the past, and you're still carrying that around. You aren't aware of your worth fully. You're not. There's lack of awareness here. You're not fully aware that you're worth it because somebody has really put you down. And I feel like you are being called to mother yourself, nurture yourself, take care of yourself, devote time to 
because this is very devoted. Devote time to becoming aware of your real qualities. You have a lot of qualities. You don't need to bring this shit with you. It's time to accept love. Accept this offer from this new person. It can lead to a lot of happiness, and I think it's genuine. I see like there could this could lead to a solid relationship, commitment, stability, love, happily ever after. Just just let the past go. Stop deceiving yourself by bringing it with you, unless you don't want this opportunity. Okay, don't let fear. This is fear. Don't let fear that somebody is going to treat you like shit again. When you're dealing with somebody who has really, really, really good intentions. Okay? So I feel like this week that there is a choice that you need to make. And when I said the choice between two people, it's a true choice between two paths. Do you let this person who hurt you, who whatever they did, hold you back? Or do you move forward? That's your decision. What are you going to do? Because I see that you have an opportunity for a beautiful, long-lasting, solid happiness do you want it oh my god oh i gotta zoom this in this is your card let me just turn it so i can get it zoomed in a little better you see what it says be in the present <laughs> i love it when that happens be in the present not the past. And dream of the future. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. This just reiterates whatever everything I said. You're letting somebody's lack of awareness of your worth hold you back on your present path. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye to the past and focus on the future because you're dealing with someone who has really good intentions for you. I would accept the offer, the new offer. Talk to you later. Remember, time is fluid. This could be this week, could be next week, could be a month from now. Talk to you later.